how to add product categories on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a product category on Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Wix.com. Once you have did that, you will need to set up or create your new website. Create your website right there. If you don't have one, just click on create a new website. You're going to proceed to the website creation within the Wix editor. Choose up your template. And if you want, you can get the help of the AI to achieve that. Or you can set it up without the AI chat. You're going to select the type of the website on online store, of course. Then we're going to proceed to the selection of the theme or the template. After you have created your website, you're going to see right here on the site's dashboard. Now I'm going to select any of these websites and I'm going to proceed to the site itself dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard is going to load up. The first thing that you need to do right here after you have set your website is to click on edit site if you are on the dashboard. If you are already on the website, you're going to wait for the process and also the loading of the content of that website. After you have loaded all of the contents of your website, you will see it right here like that. This is just an example. I have created a trucking website. So all you need to do is to check it up and also make it visible. So go ahead and add your elements and also the sections, the elements, also the pages and etc. You can organize the pages by clicking on page and menus. Go ahead and organize your page and also the menus that will show up right here into the header. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is to visit the Wix app market. Go ahead and click on the four squares right there and you're going to see here the market. Search on the apps right there, Wix store. This is the thing that you need to type. Go ahead and click on Azure and you're seeing right here a Wix stores. Click on it and install it or add it to your website. This is the section where you are going to open a shop within this specific website. After you have added the Wix web store, you're going to see right there within the pages. As you can see, I have the shop right there. It is assigned and also already and we have added the products already. So I will give you here a hint and also a visualization on how it can be or it could be looking. This is the Wix web store. We have all the products or the sample products added. These are some standard products and only here I have a real product. So back to the dashboard of that website, we're going to visit the catalog. Click on catalog and it will show you the products. Right here, go ahead and create your own product because this is a a necessary step to uh, do first before adding a category because how we can go ahead and create a category be before creating the products it has no sense so we're going to set the products you can add a new product like this a digital or a, a physical product like this you are going to set for example any of these products i'm going to add another product in front of you so you can go ahead and get an idea Go ahead and add in images, for example, or some videos. I'm going to add any of these images. Let's say that we are going to add another t-shirt, add to the page. So we are going to proceed with the basic info. So I'm going to put summer t-shirt and the ribbon. You can add a ribbon right there, which is uh, like a label. Here we have description, best, for example, quality t-shirt and high quality quality for example wool i'm going to give this an example you can get the help of the ai text generator now let's proceed to more information like adding an additional info section you can add a specific section for for example showcasing the specs also materials and the fabrics that you are going to use in this specific case. In our case, it is a t-shirt. 
so we can give more details and informations about the fabrics and also the quality of the uh, production here we have the pricing section you're going to select the country and also the currency of that country or the generic currency on the settings in my case it is a random currency so we are going to set for example a price of 29.99 and this is logic for a t-shirt for on sale this is some promotional purposes you're going to set it on sale and add another value to make the difference and make it appealing for the customers to buy it you can show the price per unit if you are going to set for example a promotional one and also you can set for example let's say that you are going to put uh, a pack of three three t-shirts maybe or four then you are going to set the price for only one unit here we have the profits and the margins you're going to set it manually and these will not sh be showing on the uh, store or the product page because this is on the financial side of the website so it will help you calculate the margins the profits and how you can pay the employees or the uh, contributors that are on your website you can add a custom text field you can allow the customers to personalize this product with a custom text field this is for the let's say i'm going to put here a thousand or 500 short limit this is for the uh, pod or print on demand pr products or t-shirts you can go ahead and set that this is a pod friendly website you can set it as a mandatory or a required field you can add another text field and here we have it for the product options you can go ahead and set some options go ahead and set the list of the sizes or the colors now after we have set the uh, inventory for example track and everything you're going to click on save so we are going to add a text field let's say that uh, describe your for example logo or text i'm going to click on save right there and then we are going to proceed to the categories here we have created some products i'm going to proceed into the categories click on here on the left side bar and as you can see the only category that has been added into our website is all the products we're going to click on new category and then we are going to set everything in order the first thing that you need to do is to put the name of the category. For example, I'm going to put summer t-shirt. Like that, we have the name of the category. And under the category right here, we are going to need and add some products, logically. I'm going to add these two products, click on add, and here we have it. You can add more products by typing or setting the name of the product from there now we have the category image you can go ahead and generate or download an image or a promotional image for example i'm going to search or set a file like this one i'm going to add a uh, image category for this one and add it this one like that you can add a category to the site like this you are going to click on save and go to the editor and here we are going to leave this website and we are going to see the Wix website editor showing up and adding the new category. Wait for a few seconds until the work is done and you will see the result. As you can see right there, we have the category added to your site. Now we have two options to add that specific category. You can create a new page for this category or you can add this category to an existing page. For example, you are going to select a page to add it to. Let's say that we are going to add it to the stores and we are going to search for a store. If you want to create another page, a new page, put the name page right there and create it. It will consider that page as a category and a sub page for a real page. Now I'm going to wait for a few seconds and I will see right here the result. So, to see that page, click on pages. And we have here the product page, 
the category page. And finally, we have here the category page. We have the summer t-shirt. Right here, we have this new category. And you're going to see only the two products that you have added from here. Right here, we have some uh, problem with the integration like that. I'm going to click on summer t-shirt. And here we have the full category. You can go ahead and manage that, these products. Click on manage products and it will open up the dashboard. Add some products, modify them, and you can get more actions. Import or export them. So for this specific page, we can customize it. You can go ahead and change the background color to an image, a background image, obviously, a background video, or a unified color. I would go with this color and here we have it. So you can quick edit this section and make some content or change the layout. Go ahead and add a section to change that layout. Within the section, you can add whatever you want from about pages or sections, a blank section, a featured, a promotional one, and etc. Go ahead and use whatever suits you well. For example, I'm going to use a promotional image right there and I'm going to set it like this. So go ahead and set whatever you want from the bottom label, the promotional message, the uh, right here, the promotional uh, illustration or image, and go ahead and use whatever you want. You can move the section right here and put it between sections as a sandwich, or you can set it randomly like that. If you want to link that page, you're going to click on page and menus. Then you're going to set this page right there into the site menu. Go ahead and add it as is right here and add it as a sub menu or a menu itself like that on the right here, the main navigation. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.